G'day guys, um, Dr. James here from Vet Dojo. Um, just doing a short video here for our YouTube members, um, just outside enjoying some sunshine. So I thought we'd try and utilize that for our video today. So just a quick one, um, we've got a 10 year old patient here um, who has a lameness in the left back leg and just wanted to kind of go through my um, process for examining these patients um, in just a kind of very brief overview. So um, Jess, you wanna just walk um, this patient up for me. Um, just go for a walk. And then we'll come back again and just come back at a trot and then we'll go away from here to trot as well please so i think the important thing is to, to when you're examining these guys to do these examinations at a trot and as we go at a trot we can see here that this dog's got a pretty obvious left back leg lameness and and what i wanted to point out is that hip hike that we see which is a bit different to the front leg um, and so with that hip hike, we can see that when the foot hits the ground, that left foot hits the ground, um, you can see that that left hip actually kind of goes up into the air as the, the patient's trying to offload that, um, offload that painful leg. So I guess from there, you know, this dog's obviously got a very obvious lameness. The point I wanted to make is that when we um, examine these guys and I look at these guys, I often get a lot more information from just my visual observations while I'm chatting to the owner before I actually put my hands on them. And I think actually the longer I've been practicing, the more information I get um, from just that visual observation and, and um, seeing how they behave and, and seeing what their confirmation's like before we actually um, go ahead and do any manipulations. And obviously one of the challenges is with these manipulations that um, they're open to a lot of subjectivity. There's um, different ways that dogs will react. For instance, some dogs won't react to anything and some dogs will react to everything. And sometimes once you hit the sore spot and all of a sudden everything becomes sore in the dog. So um, that's a big one for me in any orthopedic and neurologic exam, just that visual observation. Second thing I'm going to think about is then, um, you know, what are the common issues that we're going to see in these particular patients? So, in this dog here, back leg lame is 10 years old. Um, number one thing is going to be cruciate disease. Second thing would be um, whether it's got any hip arthritis, and then the third thing would be whether there's any lumbosacral disease. So. This dog's actually an interesting one. Um, we might come back once we've actually done a CT scan on this dog and review that with you, depending on what we find, if there's something interesting. But this dog has already had x-rays taken and um, basically the knees and the hips are normal, um, but the dog is very painful in that kind of lumbar region. There is a bit of a lipoma there, um, but the plan for today is to get him in and do a CT scan. So anyway, I hope you found that helpful. Um, I don't know if I said this actually. The final thing I was going to say is that um, using a camera like I'm doing here and, and shooting a video of a patient with a lameness, especially a subtle lameness is very helpful because with that subtle lameness, we can actually um, go in and look at the video and slow it down. And it's much easier to see then on those videos, whether there's a hip hike or a head bob or something like that. So that's all I got for you this morning on this one. Um, we'll do some more videos later.